What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at a leak that was released last night for the San Jose Sharks for a home and away jersey, a rebrand for the 2023-2024 season. At least that's what they're thinking it's for. This is one of two videos that are going to be coming out today. There was another leak last night that I will be covering in another video and I will post that later on today. So if you guys are new and this is your guys' first time seeing me or checking out my channel, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed. We we talk a lot of hockey specifically jerseys but we talk all sorts of hockey here on the channel so it mean a lot if you guys decide to stay and hit that subscribe button now let's dive into this we got some templates here that have some leaked photos of what the san jose sharks want to rebrand to for the 2023 2024 season most of you guys probably have already seen this but there might be some of you who have not let's put it on the screen here so it's a very bad photo i'm gonna be honest it kind of reminds me of the one the chicago blackhawks used in their reverse retro leak that came out um it's kind of blurry it's not really the best this one's definitely better than what the chicago blackhawks had but as far as photo quality but it's still not perfect but you still get the gist of it first off so first off i want to give my opinion and i gotta say i'm very happy the san jose sharks are rebranding i'm personally not a fan of their current home and away set it's definitely in the bottom 10 bottom five i would even say in the league for me personally this is just my personal opinion you guys are allowed to disagree i'm sure there's some people out there that currently like their set i'm just not one of those people i think they were in need for a nice change and the big thing here you guys see from these jerseys is the fact that it has no orange no orange anywhere in these concepts other than obviously the logo i think that's fantastic I'm very, very happy about that. I do not like the orange. The one thing that I want to start off by talking about is the whole teal kit here. Like, it does say at the top, new home and away with teal gear. So I'm assuming they have a concept with black gear. Because in my opinion, black gear on this home jersey would be 10 times better. I would absolutely love that to have black gear. Maybe black gloves, maybe black pants, black helmet, I think would be really good too. Just to separate from the teal, I think it would look so good with some black accents there. Definitely gloves, helmet, and pants would look so good. The jersey the socks can stay the same but man black gear would be insane on this i think it would just make it look so good as well as it would help because they have that big neck collar you can see it's all black all of it so i think it would just fit in having more black gear right now you just have a couple big black stripes and that's all you have on the jersey no black gear no nothing like i, I just can't say it enough i think black gear would make this just a top jersey in the league the main complaint that I've seen online is that this is a very similar jersey to the Carolina Hurricanes. If you guys don't know what their home jersey looks like, I will put it on the screen. I guess their old home jersey, I will put it on the screen here. And I will agree, it has a lot of similarities. The striping is very similar. The only thing is it doesn't have the warning pattern inside that big block, I guess for this jersey, it's the teal block. Um, and it, the, also the black on the bottom of the stripe doesn't bleed down to the bottom of the jersey on this one as it does on the Canes home, which I'm fine with. I'm going to be honest, I think the Canes have a very nice old home jersey. I don't know if it's going to be their alternate or not, so I, I don't know what to call it. I'm just going to call it an old home jersey. But it, it's very nice. So the fact the Sharks have one that's kind of similar to that, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it also makes it a very nice jersey. Now looking at the away here, I mean, I think it's good. I really like it. I'm going to be honest. I don't even think the teal equipment here looks terrible. I have to be honest. I, I think if it was black, it still would look better. But I think here, just because the jersey and the socks are mainly white, the teal equipment doesn't look bad. And they could keep the teal equipment on this and I would be okay with it. I would obviously want to see what it looks like black just to compare and see how much better it may look. It may be too much black and not enough teal, so it takes away from what they want, which is more teal in their which is more teal in their look, which is crazy because their current jerseys have so much teal. So I I don't get that. But it might take away from that. So I could see them wanting to keep the teal equipment on the away, which again, I'm fine with. Now the biggest argument, the biggest thing I have seen, other than it looking like the Canes jersey, is they want this brought back. And by they, I mean San Jose Sharks fans and just hockey fans in general want this brought back. I have a very unique opinion about Heritage jerseys. At least I think it's very unique where I don't want them to come back. I would rather see a new home in a way like this than to bring a jersey back. There's a lot of people that really want that back. And if that's the case, that is totally fine. I get it. I can see the argument why it's a very beautiful jersey. Very, very nice jersey. But in my opinion, 
I just want to see new. Like the NHL just needs new. And home and away jerseys coming out new, I think it's very exciting for the league, for fans, for people who want to buy jerseys. It just keeps things fresh. You can't just keep having throwbacks come back. And then you're never in the future going to have a jersey that could be brought back. Like in 20 years, this jersey could be long gone and fans could look back and be like, we loved that jersey. And then they bring it back. But if they never come out with this new jersey, then there would be nothing to bring back. It would just be the same old jerseys over and over and over again. And that is boring, in my opinion. So I'm happy they're doing something new. This is what I want to see. They can keep the heritage as an alternate if they decide. I think alternates, heritage for alternates, I think is a great idea. I just think this is really, really cool. Obviously, I'm super intrigued to hear what you guys have to say. I'm sure you guys got a lot to say about these sets here. Comment down below what you guys think. I'm going to be reading all of them. I'll try to respond to all of them. I'm very excited to hear what you guys say. Let's get some conversations going down in the comments. What do you guys think? What do you guys rate this? I mean, like I said, I had the old shark set down in like my bottom five of the league. I was not a fan, to be honest. I didn't like the orange. I didn't like the striping. I didn't like the no striping on the torso. Even though it was really unique, I still didn't like it. This thing bumps it up for sure, like definitely top 15 in the league, in my opinion. I really like it. If they switch the black equipment, I have to specify that. That is a must. Black equipment is a must. But there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, I'd love if you guys subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.